LeBron was there Monday night. We are doing this before tip off. Yep. Um, obviously, things in LA are really bad. Yep. Uh, but he keeps breaking records, but they keep losing. Yep. Uh, do you think he plays for the Cavs again? And if so, when? I don't think he plays for the Cavs. I understand he opened the door to that. I would be shocked if LeBron plays anywhere other than the Lakers next year. And then after that, it's probably going to be tied to where he has the best chance to win if he does want to leave L.A. I think he and Anthony Davis can still work. And then long, long term, we're talking about years down the road, probably is tied to if and when Bronny comes into the league. So I know he flirted with the idea of playing with Cleveland again. I don't think that will happen. I do think, though, we are in, because the Lakers have been so bad, we are missing the forest for the trees on this LeBron season. Uh, because this weekend, he passed Carl Malone for number two on the all-time scoring list. He got, you know, momentarily quiet applause, and then they just moved on, and the Lakers blew the game. Here's what I know about what LeBron is doing this year and the importance of it. As he, you know, as we record this right before the Cavs game tonight, he is tied to the tenth of a point for the scoring lead with Giannis and Embiid, all three guys at 29.8 and a few hundreds. What I know is that when it's all said and done, there's an NBA record book, and then there's the non-Wilt NBA record book, because Wilt has all the single game stuff. Wilt had a 55 rebound game. Wilt had a 100 point game. Wilt had like a dozen 70 point games. So for any individual records, individual game, you almost have to set Wilt aside. LeBron is going to do the exact same thing for the regular record book. There is going to be the non-LeBron record book because nobody else is in the 10,000-10,000 club. He's in the 10,000-10,000-10,000 club. Nobody else other than Kareem has more than 37,000 points. LeBron's going to get over 40,000 points. And maybe most notably, and this is why this year is so important, LeBron went in 35 years when people are showing playoff accomplishments, you're going to have to do the non-LeBron record book. He has minutes, points, steals, assists, all of it. But he also is going to be the guy, whenever there's a great teenager that comes into the league, they will be the youngest to do X, Y, and Z since LeBron. And now because of this season, whenever there is a great old guy season, it will be the best old season for anyone since LeBron. So if one guy has all the youngest guy records, all the playoff records, and all the old guy records, some people would say there's a name for that, the greatest player to ever live. But I guess, you know, we'll let history judge that. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or... Just click the link in the description below.